Spencer's dining. They filmed uh, under siege in here. That's a cobra right here. This looks Vietnam yeah, this air. Is a Look at this thing. I've been wanting to see this for the longest time. We saw it leave. Uh... So where to now, Captain? Uh, the beer store. <laughs> the beer store. Yeah, we're thirsty. All the men are thirsty. Oh, okay. Need your grog. Yes. <laughs> dilly dilly. One of the most amazing places we have had the pleasure to visit is Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. There are many things to see during your visit. Even though they have neatly gathered the site together, we could not get to all the sites all in one day. But there were a handful we just could not miss, and that was the USS Missouri, also known as the Mighty Mo, the emotional USS Arizona ship graveyard site, and the Airplane Museum, because I had to see a rare Zero fighter plane. Everybody's waiting to get on the boat here, and then all those people are on standby over there, so... I'm really glad I bought our tickets in advance and I bought them two months in advance and they were already almost sold out for the time slots. It was also recommended to me to get the 10 o'clock time slot and that's what we're on. and then anchored to the bottom on the far legs.
So from that mooring, that the white buoy, to that white buoy is the length of the ship. So you can see parts of it right there. These were the moorings. You can see part of it sticking up right there. And there's still the oil slick. There's debris all over. Moorings for the other ships. So this is still an active military base. I'm standing in a place that the general public normally uh, cannot get into. Um, I'm here on the military base portion. But you take a, you have to make reservations. You can take a boat out there. You can see several people. And it's very solid. Our next stop was the USS Missouri. To get to the ship and the airplane museum, you have to board a shuttle out to Ford Island. The Mighty Mo is famously known as the battleship that hosted the surrender ceremony of Japan on September 2, 1945. More recently, she was betrayed in the 1992 movie Under Siege with Steven Seagal. Before you venture onto the ship, we recommend you eat at the Dockside Grill. So my brother-in-law said that Hawaiians don't eat until they're full, they eat until they're tired, and I've been definitely doing that. I must say, this Kahlua pork tacos that I got out of the truck here next to the, the Mighty Mo is the best food I've had the whole time I've been on the islands. Pardon me, this is my girl. Hello? Um, honey, can we go now? <laughs> One of the projectiles from the 16 inch guns. So, say, the, so those guns are up there? Yeah, they say they can fire this about 23 miles away. So how much did that bomb weigh? 2,700 pounds. 2,700 pounds. About as much as a Hyundai. So we're, Peru, we're, uh, we're on our way to the surrender four, deck. Went inside the captain's quarters. They let Under Siege film in there. Under Siege was filmed yeah, in there? That's where they came in and shot the captain, remember? Oh yeah. Exact same thing. Oop, and then take straight up. Start over. I wonder if that's the manufacturer on the side of it. It says Boeing, doesn't it? It says Hayson. Or I see Boeing right there. Well, the other one says something else. That, I think, says Harpoon. Okay. Um, that's a type of hum tomahawk, but that, Harpoon. But that looks like Boeing on the side. This one over here clearly says hey on. Looks like they have ceremonies up over here. What? So they've welded a tomahawk up there so you could actually see one. Uh -huh. And then they show one coming out of a tube here too. Where's the tube? Oh, I see. Okay. Like right see here. Coming out too? Yeah, I see it right, right in that area. 
couldn't see that from the deck. I had it blocked off. Yeah, they are. Looks like they have events here on the stern. The cafe, the cafe sit here. Is that what this is right here? Sure. This is, was an open deck. An open, open bridge. Uh, open bridge. I would think that the guy waiting to shoot that weapon or if he's a spotter. But that's an awfully comfortable chair for. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's gonna sit there the for gunner. a while. <laughs> <laughs> In the movie Under Siege, that mini gun shot down an F-15. <laughs> you see? <laughs> What's that? Who two shot the gun, do you remember? Yeah. Okay, Dude. so this is a minigun? Yeah, that's a minigun. An electric machine gun. Interesting. You see on the side there, it's got the tomahawks? Mm-hmm. So just now there is a lot of climbing involved. Uh, these stairs are pretty steep, so if you have no problems maneuvering, Again, there is an elevator. No, I think they're in them vaults there, brother. Oh, Aren't they? Yeah. So, Mr. And Martini was saying that, that he thinks that's on. radar and he thinks that that's a gun that rotates around. Not sure from this side. So, these are where they stored and shot the Tomahawk missiles out of. It looks like you've got two, four, six, eight missiles up here. And this is known as the Tomahawk Deck. So you can imagine how hot it gets inside these uh, oh, yeah, with magazines. The... God, it must be miserable. No? Yeah, especially with a headset on and it's going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> 15 to 18 rounds per minute. Um. Yeah, so basically this is where all the gunpowder bags were stored, the powder magazine, and they had an elevator that brought them up, went over, then they're fed up to the guns and actually put in. That's awesome. It's a powder magazine, powder hoist. That hoisted these big bags of powder. Awesome. The ones that go in the big guns are freaking huge. Well, it looks like these boats are for uh, transporting uh, small numbers of troops, maybe dignitaries. Um, my dad used to uh, do that for the captain. So he actually had a uh, wood Chris Craft boat that they would drop in the water for the captain to go ship to shore or ship to ship. And that was. And it wasn't the Missouri, it was the Intrepid. And the Intrepid, and that was World War II and the Korean War? Uh, more Korean War. More Korea. Look inside that one, too. Oh. This is what, this is the one of the side guns, right? 
Yeah, side cone. Uh, half as big as the front one. Shit work. <laughs> Trainer seat, gun housing. I know that they have a couple of people in each side of them. Um, one guy's got to run the powder hoist so he can load the gun. Um, one guy shooting the gun. I think there's three guys inside a magazine when they're shooting these. That's awesome. I remember back late 90s, they had a powder bag blow up inside the magazine and kill all the sailors. Do you remember that? No, I don't. I don't remember that at all. I don't think it was, I don't know if it was on this ship, but it was, uh, it was a big deal. Is this just the way that we went? No, mm -hmm. we're down there. Don't we're down there. This is up. That goes to a room that can hear me. Captain at sea. Well, that was definitely a flaw in that movie. You can't take control of this ship. Sweetie, I don't know how many times I've told them I wanted the ostrich skin, not the leather. <laughs> Reserve for commanding officer of the USS Missouri. This is cool. Yeah. It is warm. I'll talk to the captain. We'll have him open the windows. Out for the day. Recommend standing in that basement. Very well. Both near the watch. Pass the word. Station and navigation detail. Controls of the ship were in this uh, concrete turret. Mr. Martini for scale. They do have an accessible ramp to get up here.
<laughs> Those are big chains. <laughs> Thanks, but you shouldn't talk about me that way. <laughs> So these are the magazines right here? Yeah. In the back here? Yeah, and that's the hoist. Right in front of you, hoist the uh, hoist it up to the top where the gun actually is. Engineer. <laughs> hey, at least he had a window. Oh. Yeah, at least he didn't have 15 other Four guys holes. in the room, would he? <laughs> this is actually a pretty big room. Across from the fire. That thing's uh, ancient. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's even broken. Fly officer used to live pretty well. Has his own place, look, there's a little mini swamp cooler, I think, over there. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's modern. That's the officer's corker walking around in his bathrobe. <laughs> Just coming out of the men's shower. <laughs> God, I can't believe I've been married to you as long as I have. That's this one. God, I just can't imagine being in these small quarters for as long as they were. This was the senior dental officer. Fire equipment. is where you can find the captain's log. <laughs> oh, you're bad. <laughs> so this is where they keep the nuclear codes. Spoiler alert. It's one, two, three, four. <laughs> It's such a dork. It is for personal belongings. Yeah. It's kind of mine. Your, kind, of your, <laughs> kind of your foot locker. Got a little bigger though. This is where they keep the nuclear codes. <laughs> What's this? Missile this officer? The, missile officer. That's probably where they kept the codes to the nuclear weapons. <laughs> I don't laugh, I'm dead freaking serious. <laughs> it's just funny to hear you say <laughs> it. <laughs> There's a safe over there, probably for the same damn thing. Even that was for personal items, I don't know. I don't know, it's probably for, who knows. Had to lock the Codes. strip up somewhere. Take this whole area. So this was your executive officer, second in command. A Trinitron. <laughs> I haven't oh, seen this. I haven't seen one of those in years. Look at that. A, a zenith. <laughs> that computer. That's funny. Well, that Hermes typewriter, the only thing I can think they make now is portable propane heaters. <laughs> and hut! Is this the bathroom?
Alright, so this is explaining uh, the characteristics of the 5 inch gun. Um, your maximum surface range is 9 miles. Uh, your maximum uh, AAW range is 5 miles. Your muzzle velocity, that's how fast it's traveling when it leaves the muzzle, 2600 feet per second, which is really fast for a big projectile. Uh, maximum ceiling of 37,300 feet, meaning if you wanted to arch this round on the land, you could shoot it up 36,000 feet high. <laughs> um, rate of fire, 15 to 18 rounds per minute, which is very fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, how much ammo they have stored for these guns? 6,528 uh, 6, rounds. That might do it. And so 15 that... to 18 rounds per minute. So that's this gun right here. Yeah, it's a five inch. So if you are in a wheelchair or a walker and you're afraid that you cannot come here, they do have elevators and they do have a ramp to get up on the ship. So that's really nice. So don't hesitate to come if you feel like you can't maneuver the ship. Uh, the decks are, are pretty level. Something I learned today, Senator McCain's grandfather was on the deck that day. God, these helicopters are huge. <laughs> this thing's huge. Yeah, it's starting to get real sunny. No, I probably need to redo it. So this was meant to be stored under deck of an aircraft carrier. That's why the blades fold up. It would go down on an elevator and go below deck on the aircraft Big. This is an Apache, that's a Cobra, and that's a Huey, but I'm not sure. These are rocket tubes. They shoot the side one of the rockets out. Top Guns plane, the Tom Tomcat F-14D. That's an F-15. This one's an F-15? Look at this thing. This looks like uh, looks like uh, This one's it's big. These are all big. That's a Tomcat. Well, this is the Misty Warrior. All the 1950s. Intake, through the nose was right. The 50s. Was the 50s? As you got into the 60s, they did the side intake. Yeah, 60s side intake. Phenomenal phantom. <laughs> this is all intake right here. <laughs> I think it's awesome. An F-16A Viper. An F-16? Yep. That's not a very old plane. It goes on and on and on. These are awesome. Compared to all these damn, look at that. You're thinking, man, one one pilot in that damn thing? Look at this little son of a bitch. You're two, what? Two and a half feet? <laughs> yeah. You're screaming in a two and a half foot tube across the sky. Shit. Mr. Martini can't get over how short these wings are. He says it's basically a missile, a missile. in the sky. <laughs> What kind was this again? 
Patrick? It is an F-104A. They call it the missile with a man in it. A missile with a man in it. I like that. It could, go, it could reach 100,000 feet. It could travel at Mach 2. Wow. Twice the speed of sound. Twice the speed of sound. They say it can climb very, very quick with those short wings. Very cool. Patrick, look up in the sky. Very cool. Which one's this? Is the Flying Tiger? Uh... Well, this is a P-40 Warhawk, but it's got the Flying Tiger's painting on it. Do you remember the Hungry Tiger restaurants back in the 70s, 80s, early 80s? They, a group of Flying Tigers, um, got together and opened up that chain of restaurant. I used to work for them as a waitress. That's how I knew that. Here's a better story. Uh, flying Tigers became Flying Tigers Air, and now they're FedEx. Oh, I didn't know that. I remember Flying Tigers Air. Oh my God, look at this. Look at that. <laughs> they're an Indian. I think it's an Indian. What do you, where's the sign for it? That thing's awesome. Yeah. We shot, this is Japanese, and we shot this one down. So the wood fins allowed the torpedo to skim closer to the surface of the water. This helped the weapon hit the hull of the ship's target instead of detonating in the muddy bottoms of Pearl Harbor because they were in shallow water when they were hitting them with torpedoes. Right. Allow it to skim along the surface of the water. The wood fin? Yep. And that's how they modified their, toy, their uh, torpedoes. Who did? We did or the Japanese, Japanese did? did? There it is. I've been wanting to see. This is a real Japanese Zero. Oh my goodness. That thing's awesome. So you're saying these are the torpedoes that the Zeros had? Yeah. Those things are huge. Yeah, they were as long as the plane. And that bomb there is probably similar to what hit the Arizona. <laughs> this is an amazing museum. Look at this thing. I've been wanting to see this for the longest time. That thing's awesome. So, we are going to go inside the hangar. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Look at 
look at this. Refurbishing it, a B17. Awesome. It's a decommissioned Blue Angel. Refurbishing this, B17. Look at this. That's amazing. Look at the propellers all bent back. Wow. So make sure you get here early. This parking lot fills up really quick and it's not that big. So these spots right here, it's like 8.30 in the morning. That's all that's left. And it's just not a very big parking lot. So get here early. There's a lot to do. Um, make so you, because you have to take some shuttles. Um, you know, it's time consuming. So, you know, first thing in the morning, be here. So it's really important that you come out here before 2.30. They stop running the shuttles at that time. Um, so I'd recommend doing the Arizona first then coming out and doing the mo, and then doing the airplane museum. And make sure that you don't forget the um, Oklahoma Memorial. Um, there's a wonderful memorial just outside the mo, um, where you can pay your respects. But this place is really awesome, and if you're looking for lunch, it's right in front of the mo. There's two places to choose from, so it's pretty nice.